right now on the Adam Carolla Show, the Ace Man wants to know about your biggest sports-related ass-kicking ever. And he'll tell you his own. Call 866-901-ADAM. It's the Adam Carolla Show. Well, let's uh, let's see. Um, Pop Warner football. I was talking about this to my mom the other day who never really heard of it, <laughs> which was funny. Pop Warner football? Yeah, didn't know anything about it. And it was the biggest part of biggest most important thing in my life for almost my entire life. entire life. <laughs> yes. so I had to explain I don't know the how rules. She missed it. <laughs> I had to explain uh, what went on. And I had to explain that uh baseball for pusses, soccer zero, all that stuff a zero compared to football because a football you put the pads on, you put the helmets on. Once you put those shoulder pads on and helmet on, you never go back. Once you put on a pair of cleats and get spatted up, they tape you up. Nothing better and you go to battle with your brothers. Whereas Baseball, eh, every man for himself. And soccer, please. Shiny shorts chasing around a ball. What a pain in the ass. So We don't often hear about your defeats, though. Oh, I got some good ones. Also, football, they kick the crap out of you. It is boot camp. They have guys who scream at you. You don't get any water. You're not jogging around on a sunny day. You're in full pads doing wind sprints and jingle jangles and shoulder rolls. And I'll tell you something. There's nothing more tiring or annoying than football drills where the guy says, you run in place and every time I blow the whistle, you're down on your belly and then you pop up as fast as you can and then I blow the whistle again and you're down on your belly and you're up and running in place again. Do you know how old that gets? How fast that gets in San Fernando in, you know, September when it's 102 and you're getting screamed at because your chin strap's undone? Yes. It sucks. But the good news is when you go to play the games, you feel like you're going to war. And it feels great to be there with your comrades and everyone's counting on everyone else to do their job. It's not every man for themselves. And as I explained to my mom uh, yesterday, 11 years of playing organized football, and guess how many touchdowns your son scored? Zero. Zero. You played both sides, offense and, offense and defense. couple interceptions, never took one yeah. to the house. Not a skilled position player on offense, though. No, nope, so. just blocked for other guys. That's all I ever did. It's a good, it's a good lesson to teach your 7- or 8-year-old kid. You'll not be touching the ball. Go ahead and block the other guy so the other guy can carry the ball and get the girls. Um I was playing in my, I, I had, uh, two things happen. One is, uh, I played seven years of Pop Warner football. Um, in my second year, we went undefeated and I was too young to even understand what it was like to lose. We crushed every single team and we played in the championship game and it was rainy and uh, we were playing on some high school football field and we somehow lost. And I don't remember much of it other than I couldn't believe that we had lost after crushing every team we'd played the entire season. That was the second year I played. We did not go to any more championship games until my last year. Five years later, we went to, I was playing in Bantams. And now this would have been... Uh, in my high school, we started in the 10th grade, not the 9th grade. So this sort of would have been the 9th grade team, except for it was Pop Warner football. Uh, I was playing for the Sun Valley Falcons. Sun Valley, a dump. I do not recommend it to anyone. I don't even recommend flying over Sun Valley. It's such an <laughs> asshole. You should just detour. But uh, we used to, that was our home field, Poly High School, the Poly Parrots. By the way, no one in Sun Valley owns a parrot. And if they sure. do, they would eat it. <laughs> Those are the kind of people that live in Sun Valley. But still, that's where you did all your jingle jangles. That's where we did. And again, they thought water was bad for you. They thought you would right. cramp up and you literally would just run wind sprints and they would call you candy asses and they beat the crap out of you. But they forged you into sort of men. It was, it was boot camp, essentially. And that's what football, Brian, you coach, you know, you know, it's like, especially two a days. The it's, water thing is particularly hilarious because when I coached, it was like the year after Corey Stringer died for the Minnesota mm -hmm. Vikings. Yeah. And so, Adam, we had we had a water and Gatorade break for the players every eight minutes. Oh, it's incredibly dangerous out there to you like, can get Gatorade, dehydrated Gatorade, and Gatorade, die. Gatorade, 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 Gatorade. I am not Gatorade, not as water. I I want to strangle you even more than I normally do. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. And I don't want to exaggerate <laughs> when I say that I am a mouth breather. I have a deviated septum. My mouth, I get cotton mouth almost immediately on a dry day. And when I'm running wind sprints, it's <laughs> my mouth. 
felt like uh, somebody emptied an ashtray filled with sand into it. And all I wanted was a sip of water. And I used to fantasize about sneaking water onto the field and burying it and hiding it somewhere. I wanted water so badly. And they thought water was bad for you. But really what they thought is it would turn you into a puss. And we're going to make a man out of you. And we're going to make you thirsty and hungry. So we... We're a very good team by the time I got to my Bantam season, my seventh season in Pop Warner football. And it was pretty much us and a team called the North Valley Bears. And the North Valley Bears. I don't even want to know what a bear does to a parrot. They were, we, we were Sun Valley Falcons. We just, right. our home field Sorry. just happened to be we're the Polly Parrots. Right. Either, um, way. either way, birds of prey. <laughs> <laughs> birds of pirates. Right. So, we were going to play the North Valley Bears and we were undefeated and they were undefeated and we were, you know, six and oh, and they were six and oh, and it was time to play the North Valley Bears. Now I'll tell you about the North Valley Bears. The North Valley Bears were nothing but black and Hispanic, thus scared our mostly white team. They showed up in those weird cholo slippers. Cody X. They did the weird breakdown thing. They'd all get in the end zone and do the hoo, oh, <laughs> you know, helmet, yeah. helmet thing. And they do the, we don't want no black eyed peas. Hell no. And they do the whole chant. And one guy would just be leading it like Ray Lewis yeah. and the other team would just be doing the hell no. And they were, they were whipped up and they were scary. And here's one of the reasons they were so good. They had so many guys going out for their team that there was a North Valley Bears team gold oh. and a blue team. They had too many guys going out for their Pop Warner team. So they had an all star team and then they had the crappy team. Now the crappy North Valley Bear team we crushed earlier in the season, but this was not them. And you can tell when you play football almost immediately who you're dealing with. And these guys hit hard. They sustained their blocks. They finished their blocks. They Everyone hit. And they were well coached and they executed. And we played these guys and they essentially punched us in the mouth. And they beat us like 21 to 6. And, but I remember but it, wasn't that, it wasn't that close. And I remember after the game being beaten up. Like there were just there were teams you would play where they would kind of roll over a little bit, where the fullback that was leading the play would not hit you that hard. These guys would launch into you with the tops of their heads. And I messed up my back. I messed up my shoulder. I was trained. And I remember thinking, oh, God, these guys are scary. And they hit hard. And well, what happened? We beat the rest of the teams that season. They beat the rest of the teams that season. And now it came time for the playoffs. We won all our playoffs. They won all their playoffs. And we had one more game to get to the championship game. But unfortunately, that game had to go through the North Valley Bears. Oh, no. Not the Bears again. Not the Bears again. And I just remember, as it's, it really was a sort of turning point in, in my life. I just remember everyone on our team going, look. We need to just beat these guys one play at a time. We need to grind it out. We need to move the chains. Everyone's going to have to dig deep. Everyone's going to have to play the best game of their life. And maybe we can beat these guys. And we just dug in. And we just ground it into them. And uh, I got a concussion in the game at some point uh, in the fourth quarter. And, and I remember everyone would just go back to the huddle and just be like, three more yards, three yards. Come on, let's move it first down. Three yards, three yards. And we won the game 14-6. to six. 14 to 7. It was the hardest hitting, grind it out kind of game ever. And to us, that was our Super Bowl. We beat the best team. Now, the next team we were playing, Chatsworth Chiefs. Yeah. Beat them. No problem with the Chiefs. Beat them during the season already. Mm hmm. Had a very controversial play where, uh, like out of a movie, one of their players went over the middle. Caught a short pass about seven yards deep right over the middle, jumped up to catch it. One of our players went low on him and hit him and literally had his feet. You ever uh, take a niece or a nephew, pick him up by the feet and let him sort of hang over your back? Right. It was like he put his head between the guy's legs, came behind him and lifted up. This guy was hanging on this guy's back. And while he was hanging our safety put his helmet right Ooh. into the guy's sternum. Nice. So not only was the guy, high, guy lifted off the ground, but he got speared while he was hanging upside down, and this guy was holding on to his ankles and shins. This guy drilled him with the top of his helmet. The other team freaked out over this. There was a bench-clearing sort of brawl. They ended up having to separate everyone. Dads got on on the field. But what did your dad do? <laughs> 
I mean, was he was he throwing punches or was he like using equipment? He was reading a Leo uh, Buscaglia <laughs> on b- hugging book on <laughs> hugging at back at home and his uh, horsehair sofa. So I he was not there. Now we got on this topic because a school in Texas, a girls' basketball team, lost by a hundred. How old do you think Adam was, by the way, during that story? Pardon? How old do you think Adam was during that story? You mean when he was playing yeah. the Chiefs? He remembers every every single moment. Every perfectly. moment, every play. Well, yes. it was the most important thing in his life, as he's just told us. 